I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Richard Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 310, where I'm going to show you how to keep dynamic generated items from disappearing. This one has bit me in the backside a few times while working in Quantrix, and I wanted to pass along with you the knowledge that I have gained so it doesn't uh, bite you. I have here a category that is being generated based off of the region listed here. And if I were to right click on here and click configure, you would see that indeed it's coming from SalesFact region. And it's automatic item names. So if I were to go in here and I were to delete all of the West regions, you can see that it, it indeed is not part of the selection here any longer. And that's fine and dandy in some cases. But what happens if I had some custom input in these cells? Okay. And I did actually have a West region. And I had something custom in here. And what if I wanted to keep that custom input associated with West all the time, even if West were to disappear from this list? How could I do that? Because indeed, if I go ahead and delete West, and then if I were to add it back, well, the input doesn't live there anymore. So what I can do actually, kind of a workaround here, is in my configure tab or my configure item generation dialog within Quantrix, what I can do is I can simply click on allow users to modify items. And then what happens is if I have some input in here and I go ahead and I delete West, West actually remains. So this, well, I didn't delete it. Sorry, I entered it. But when I delete it, you can see that West actually remains. Uh, and if I were to add it back, of course, it stays there. And then if I were to add another region, say it were to be the North region, that is the, therein when it populates over here. So it's kind of this dynamic uh, for additions, but it's not dynamic when I when item is when information is no longer present within the list. So again, how I did that is I simply went to configure generate items and allow users to modify the items. And what happens is even though it may not be in the list, it still shows up over here. So that may be some behavior that you want to uh, mimic or use in your models. And that is how you do it. And if you have any questions about anything else in Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me that question. Sincerely, it makes my day every day that people ask me questions about Quantrix. So I hope that you'll be answering me the next question and making my day. And I hope that you'll join me for another episode of Quantrix Authority because I want to make you a Quantrix master. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.